So the film is basically about a character named Ace. Ace is reunited with his childhood mentor who brings him in on a high-tech weapons heist. And that's the film in a nutshell. I started going back and looking at these old childhood movies that I shot. This one in particular, which was called Roach. And I started re-examining this story and the possibility of recutting together this film, which I had never completed as a child. Well, thanks a lot. We'll keep in touch. Right. And I'm not gonna come back till I found someone. You can't just go around playing God. I know I can't stop you from killing people, but I'm not gonna be a part of it. I then give you the access codes to the building. I never had an ending. And how I approached doing that was by getting some of my filmmaker friends to come finish this film. The name's Roach. The way that worked with Ace on Fire is that those characters which appear in the short film were then integrated into the feature film. You could definitely see that there was potential there. Roach sent me for the guns. You got them or not? Oh, I got them. It was going to evolve into something bigger than we both thought. After seeing the result of the footage, I was convinced, you know, I, th I think I can do this. The level of acting from some of these performers is just unbelievable. Lexi was really fun to play because she's, you know, sarcastic, she's a little sassy. Aren't I a little out of your age range? She's got some attitude on her, has a little bit of more of a darker backstory. In a lot of ways she's flawed, and Ace is very flawed too. You know, she does get a little carried away, maybe doesn't end up making the best choices with Roach and things. Take the job, do it for me. Gun control. And so when I read the script, I was like, yeah, yeah, this rocks. And it's definitely his style. Your wish is my command. You know, Roach has this way of hypnotizing people. He's somewhat of a synambulist. Couldn't have done this without you. I think we can work it out so everyone gets what they want. Woody! Who is this? Your girlfriend. Kind of busy at the moment. Would you just open the door? It's like a video game. There's action and excitement. <laughs> got an adrenaline rush and talk about pedal the metal, that's it right there. You know, once you work with Roland, you're always gonna wanna work with him. He's got a sense of humor of his own. Are those bath salts? Yes, they smell good too. Hey guys. Different kind of bath salts. Motorhome bath salts party, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you mean we're not doing a 1940s movie? What's going on? <laughs> Are we in the army? Action. Ace's character is looking for uh, some money. He's got a map. I'm right there behind him. He doesn't know it. I think this was the second day of shooting, and we didn't have much time. We were on, you know, a short timeline. We had to get back to the house to shoot with Courtney. So it's this scene where we're having this, you know, epic gun battle. Let's do it. I'm ready to rock and roll here. As Roland is, you know, taking off past camera, and... You okay, dude? Yeah. I twisted my ankle and it didn't feel too bad, but then after a while I'm like, yeah, I tweaked it pretty good. I had no idea. Keep rolling, rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, one Still more. Going. And here I am, I'm like, Roland, go to the mark. And action. No, Roland, go back. And I'm like slave driving the guy, not actually realizing. As he was puffing up, I was, yeah, maybe I should see somebody about this, but I thought, no, no. The project was just too important. This had to get done. Which is funny, because we actually used it uh, for the character. By getting hit by a car, you expect some sort of injury. And he's just one of the people that I just click with. You never know it, but he was all very much uh, within a budget. Christian's design of his garage, we actually shot it in a garage. The set costs a few hundred dollars, and this isn't anything that you couldn't do at home. The rentals, the gear, also hand building these sets. When I actually ended up getting Lexi and then reading the whole script, I was really impressed by the detail in it. To me, it, it just seemed quite complex, like you probably must have had to really research and think out the storyline and think out all the little twists and turns and all the players in it. It's got a lot of different characters. So I was impressed with, with the thought behind it. And over the discs. What discs? The one with the list. The bloodlines with all the names connected to East Coast smugglers. I know where he's going with it, and uh, I feel that I can add uh, a bit of flavor to it. Frank, action. Action. Jameson! His use of light, but his willingness to work quick, it takes guts. I could not have done the film without these guys. First of all, Tamal. 
he was our gaffer and he was our cameraman. And also, in post, he did visual effects. For me, as a, working as a camera operator and a gaffer at the same time was quite uh, back and forth between positions. Tama, his experience is incredible. Knowing what is uh, just will work at the right time. We just said uh, he had to make a movie and make it happen. We make it work out. We'd go, let's get the big mama. And that was a uh, big uh, 200 lens. They helped me to set up the camera while I was doing the lighting. And when I was just coming back to be camera operator, I could just focus on camera operating. Then we definitely jump into the lighting on a run, like to get the lights straight away. Travis, first AC, you can tell a, a story just by focus. You could call that like A camera, this B camera. Spencer, uh, he started out doing some stills for us uh, behind the scenes and taking some footage of what you're seeing here. That's it. That's perfect. There you go. And we thought, okay, well, let's use him for a B cam. He captured some amazing moments with uh, with his camera that are just imperative for the uh, edit process. It was, it was amazing. Set was fantastic. Small crew was very streamlined, very organized. There was no stress. Everybody was really lovely, really supportive. Felt like a great hang. We didn't do any ADR because the sound, it was that good. He captured the magic. Sound speed. Also had some amazing cleanup and post too. Music, it's something really important in movies, right? It's what makes it completely alive. For the visual effects, we have like different shots. Bullet impact or gunshot. Working with your team, you have to load them with work depending on how fast they are going. Well, we have a description of a shot, a shot number, and what has to be done. I was rechecking the shot, give some few adjustments, ready to give it to Christian. I want to get two more shots here before we move to our master, and that's yeah. it for the scene. Is it possible to uh, bring it here and get a zoom lens? It'd be nice if we could come down from her face to the bag. Uh, a wide, you just see the exterior and you and I sitting in there. And we'll get a few shots out here, one where uh, obviously you're bloodied up. Right? Okay. It's like, is it going to be like... Yeah, you're going to be like laying back like... Oh, okay. And I've got a white shirt for you and we're going to put like fake blood on it. Okay. And then we come in on the coverage phone. there. There's no law against making money, man. Oh no, I hear you. One thing that people kept saying is this connection between Ace and Roach is what makes the film. There are many amazing characters, in my opinion. What people are drawn to is this mentor who returns, this very mysterious guy, and then this up-and-comer, Ace, and how they work together to achieve a common goal. This hardcore weapons heist going on, right? I think you're gonna see something really unique. It was a, such a fun experience, and such a great group of people to work with and get to know. It's a movie. I want people to enjoy watching it. <laughs>